as we continue to finish up the first week of training camp for the Dallas Cowboys in 2023. Alongside Haley Sutton, I'm Kyle Yeomans. And Haley, lots of eyes have been up front on that Cowboys offensive line throughout the offseason. And of course, Zach Martin unavailable at least to start training camp as contract holdouts continue for the star right guard. But what have been your early impressions of the Cowboys offensive line? Yeah, it's definitely been a great mix of these younger guys getting opportunities. It's obviously so good to see Terrence Steele back into the mix, but uh, it's not that Zach Martin's not working. I actually just saw a video of him really getting after it, ready to go. He texted the group saying how excited he was that they're holding down the fort and he'll be here soon. So some positive reinforcement from your leader there, but you, this is the kind of stuff you have to work through in training camp and very similar to some of these other positions we've talked about. This is an opportunity for these younger guys to really make an impression. And Tyler Smith told us on Thursday that, well, Zach Martin did text the offensive line and said, We'll be back soon. So that's a good sign for Zach Martin and everybody that's waiting for Martin to show up. But you've talked about Terrence Steele and having him back out at that right tackle spot. Really returning from injury quicker than anticipated has been a huge plus for this Cowboys offensive line. You know, I love Terrence Steele. I had the opportunity to really get to know him a couple months back when we did Cowboys Hour with him right after he had that ACL injury. And even in that moment, uh, he was positive and he was looking forward to getting back on the field. I did some research last night as well. The average recovery time for an offensive lineman in the NFL to come back from an ACL injury, 11 months. And Terrence Steele did it in eight. And he said it's because he had a great support system and hard work ethic to get to this point. That was just my main objective this whole offseason. I, I miss being out on the field with my teammates. So that was my main goal. I, mean, I didn't want to miss any time. So I just wanted to be out there with my boys. Briefly, I want to take you back to that Houston game. Yep. Walk me through the emotions of finding out that your ACL was torn, your season was done, and you knew kind of the journey ahead of you. Yeah, so walking with the dog back to the locker room, I didn't think it was too bad because I was able to walk on it a little bit. And then uh, once Doc, you know, showed me the x-rays and he did his tests with the ACL and MCL, he kind of told me the news. And I was, of course, I was emotional for a little bit, but then you know, I kind of just said it is what it is and just face the reality of it and I knew I had a journey ahead of me and I was ready to, to face it on so so now the real work begins you guys have two practices under your belt at this point what are you guys working on with the guys you have here currently yeah uh, just continuity um, next man up mentality you know do we, don't want, don't want to miss a step and really just uh, just building off of what we've been working on since OTAs and uh, just keep keep improving every day so what's special about this year's team uh, I would say the competitive spirit. I mean, I can even just see it during this walk that we be doing. I mean, offense, defense, we're chirping back and forth, and it, it's all really healthy, and uh, it's just part of, it's part of our culture we've been building. So it's been, it's been pretty cool to see. When you get to line up for that first game, whenever it is, whether it's preseason, first game against the Giants, uh, what do you think that moment's going to be like for you getting back out there? Uh, I'm going to try and keep it just, just like any normal game. I don't want it to be like anything special. Just get back out there and just do what I've been doing. Pretty much, yeah. And that interview was brought to you by Sleep Number. But really, Kyle, the biggest takeaway I got from that conversation with Terrence is that he is so excited to be back on the field and he's ready to go. His knee feels good, uh, so it's good to have him back at that right tackle position. And always the tackles are going to have those eyes all over them, especially when the pads come on next week here in training camp. We also have all eyes on Dak Prescott as he always. continues <laughs> to build toward week one of the regular season. When